Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Chisha Zed. I am back, man, with another video for you. You know how it goes. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hey. Cheating is a big problem. And when I say big problem, I mean a big, serious problem, right? And it's for everybody, man, because a lot of times when we hear about cheating, it's like people just believe that men are the only ones that cheat. When you hear about a cheating story or someone cheated, a lot of people just gravitate towards like, oh, it's probably the man that cheated. But the truth is, in today's day and age, men and women are cheating at almost the same rate. If you look at a lot of different statistics, you find out that women are cheating almost at the same rate as men are. Now, I think that whole statistic eventually will be women cheating more than men, considering that we live in a time where it's a lot easier for a woman, right, to get laid than it is for a man to get laid, but that's a whole different topic. I don't wanna get into that. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a female dating coach by the name of Shannon Lester. Man, she's over here on YouTube teaching women how to cheat. Oh, man, yes. Showing women how to cheat and get away with it. But don't take my word for it, man. Check it out for yourself. Let's get into it. So like I said, if you are just like, oh, you can't kind of resist, you're sort of like a kid in a candy store, maybe you're studying abroad, maybe you guys are like in a long distance relationship, maybe you love him, but he works a lot and you're just like, I don't know, I just really like making out with boys. Okay, first of all. Now, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to pause it so soon, but I want you to pay attention to this type of stuff because I talk about long distance relationships a few times on my channel about how I don't trust that type of a situation, man, with the woman. I do not. There are too many variables. There are too many 304s out here, right, to trust your woman in another country with how thirsty these men are today, right, and how thirsty these women are today, right? You can't do it. Don't do it. If she's going off to college, you just graduated from high school, let her go. Let her go. Wave goodbye. Don't try to do no long distance thing, man. It won't work. I'm sorry. This is safe advice I'm giving 90 times, probably more than 90%, man. Probably close to 100% of the time, long distance relationships end in tears. Yeah, you crying your ass off. I'm telling you, man. But... Let's get back into this video. Keep your goddamn mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. Two can keep a secret if one of them is dead, as the old saying goes. And no, you probably can't, or I'm sure you can. You shouldn't kill your mistress. But you also need to zip the lip with your friends, right? Because, like, you think you know your friends and you think they're loyal to you, but people have very different morality in terms of cheating. First of all, I wouldn't dine my friends out to God herself. Like I keep their secrets forever. And we got a lot of them. But like, some people are not like that. Like some people who come from a, a family where dad cheated on mom and if they see cheating, it's like rawr, rawr, rawr. It's like a Vietnam flashback. Like they cannot handle it. They will sell you out. So it's really, really important. I don't know if you guys heard that, but she basically said her friends are hoes. <laughs> I'm sorry, let's get back into this video. To keep your crimes on the down low. Loose lips sink ships. You also need to keep it quiet from your boyfriend. And I know that sounds obvious. I know that sounds obvious, but I get a lot of messages from you guys where it's like, my boyfriend dumped me or we were on a break and I went to a club and made out with this guy and I feel so guilty because now we're back together. Should I tell him? I'm like, no, are you, cr no, no, transparency? is baloney. Transparency is capitulation of control. I don't tell anybody everything. Certainly not a boy that I'm dating. Are you out of your mind? I didn't even tell my husband everything. I never told my husband how old I was. I mean, he figured it out, but like that to me is information I don't like to share. I would rather like share my pap smear results. <laughs> oh, that's just, and that's me. And that's my line in the sand, you know? And like, you have the right to have your own information stay with within you. When you go out with a guy, you don't have to tell him your whole history. You don't have to tell him that like you were married or what. No one is owed access to your stories. Woo. 
Where do we start? Where do we start? Um, I'll start with this. I will say this. You know, a lot of the times when a woman cheats in a relationship, she wants to tell her dude, right? She wants to tell him about how she cheated. Most times it's not for the guy. Most times it's for her. People can't live with the guilt. And I'll be honest with you, man. A lot of you guys out there, especially the simps, right? You think you want to know your girl's past. You want to ask her how many bodies she's had. You think you want to know how many times she's gone to pound town, right? You want to know, right? You think, but you don't. Why? Because there's no point in knowing. And two, man, it's just going to make things worse. You're not going to look at her the same. You can't handle the truth. And it's an immature question because all these women have been or either are currently or will stay and remain three or fours. That's right. All of them. Right. Assume. Assume she's had her fun because she's had her fun. So that thing she talks about what she says, don't tell your man when you cheat. It sounds like, oh, the right thing to do is tell. No, 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 it's not. If it happened to me, I'd rather you sit there, especially, let me put this in context, if it's not going to happen again, right? Then I'd rather you sit there with it for the rest of your life and deal with that guilt. But overall, this advice she's giving is just pure evil. Unless she says she didn't tell her husband her real age. That's crazy, man. That's, that's a bit too much. To me, that's suspiciously secretive, right? Beware of very secretive women. Back into this video. So the second thing you need to do is foresee the red flags that are going to pop up in terms of giving your behavior away. Now, like I said, when people cheat, there are shifts. They're on their phone a lot more. They're making like smiley faces. They're changing their passcode. Literally, if you're going to have a life of crime, you should get a second phone or establish with whoever it is you're cheating with that there's like hours. And it's hard. You don't necessarily want to let them know that you are in a relationship, like if you can help it, because they can use that against you. Like people will turn on you, they'll blackmail you. There's, you know, th this shit happens. Like you don't want your mistress blowing up your life. You can do that on your own. So just be like, hey, you know, when I'm home at night, I turn my phone off. Make it up. You're lying to one dude, lie to the other. Who cares? Because you need to keep information above and below, right? You need to keep information on a need to know basis, not just flowing out loosey goosey and you don't know who knows what and blah, blah, blah. So establish some parameters before you go at, out like into this. Pure evil, man. And listen, guys, I'm here thinking about the work. Why would you even want to go through all that work when you could just leave? Right? When you could just leave. Why go through all that ducking and hiding and second phone and all that shit when you can just leave? Well, here's the truth, man. It takes strength to walk away. A lot of guys are in this type of situation with the woman who they're forgiven. And you already know how I feel about that. If you don't, I'll repeat it. When a woman cheats, it's a lot worse than when a man cheats. Why? Well, because she is bonding with another man, right? On the scientific level, the woman gets the larger percentage of the bonding chemical. It affects her mentally even more. But it's important, man, that men understand that women are capable of this. Gentlemen, keep your eyes open. Keep your RP um, senses wide and alert. Beware, because this video has hella views. So it's possible. You might think, oh, it's not going to happen to me. Okay, let's get back into this video. Also, start having some new activities and have two. Well, you're actually going to only maybe have one. The second one is going to be a variable activity with a loosey goosey schedule. So this is what I mean, <clears throat> because scheduling is a big shift in terms of behavior. It's like she doesn't come home now. And like, I don't know where she goes after school and blah, blah, blah. So you want to sign up for like two things. Say one's like a pottery class. Okay. You're doing pottery like every day after work. Then you're going to be like, oh, I'm also doing like CrossFit and like, it's hard to get in. So sometimes the only classes are like eight to nine. It's so annoying. 
and actually do that so that it, there's plausible, you know, there's a realism to your lies. You're coming home, you're sweaty or whatever. It's like your, your body's changing. You can like give normal accountable details because you're actually there. Sometimes, not all the time. But again, you want to pick something that the schedule kind of shifts, but not so wildly. It's like, oh, I went to CrossFit and I spent the night. No, <laughs> like if you, if that's what you need to do, if, if you want to have that big of a cheat where you're full on spending the night with another dude, you're going to have to escalate those lies accordingly. You're going to have to travel for work. You're going to have to like go sleep with your sister sometimes. You're going to have to like your mysterious best friend, Perry is like having some sort of like crisis and you have to sleep at her house two nights a week. You know, work smarter, not harder, because then it's going to give you wiggle room if he gets suspicious. Be like, babe, I, I know, I know just this class opened up. So it's like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to go. I don't know why it's that big of a deal. Like it happened last week. Fellas, I hope you're paying attention, man, because this shit is nuts. And listen, if your girl starts taking pottery classes at 11 p.m., please go check that out, man. <laughs> go look up, go see what's going on. You feel me? All this stuff here would be like clear red flags to me. Taking pottery classes, spending the nights out when you weren't before, right? And a lot of guys would try to excuse this. Why? Because they don't want to believe the truth. Women cheat too. Women cheat a lot. She may cheat more than you. She's already figured out that first part of it, right? How to keep it down, keeping it to yourself. Now she's moved into the scheduling. There's a strategy to this. There's a strategy that she put down and is covering all bases. This lady right here is pure evil. Oh yeah, and she belongs to the streets. Again, your girl starts doing random shit at random times. Just know she's going to pound town. Let's get back into this video. Also, get your boyfriend involved in things. If he's busy, he's not gonna be paying as much attention to what it is you're doing, right? But, and this is truly evil. This is evil. Are you guys ready for it? You got to start gaslighting him. That is the tool of a cheater. Gaslighting. And so we know what gaslighting is. If you don't, it's based on this movie in the 40s called Gaslight. Right? My coffee table just started vibrating and that's a little worrisome. All right. It's evil is here. Huh. And... So this movie, and anyway, this guy like adjusts, this like shitty husband adjusts like the gas flames in the lamps to flicker. And the wife's like, these are flickering. He's like, no, they're not. Maybe, maybe you're going crazy. Maybe we should commit you to institution and then I can get all of your inheritance. Gaslighting. And so we are used to seeing gaslighting as like a guy calling you crazy. But really, it is anyone who tells you that you are not observing what you are very much observing, right? Yeah, man, that's enough of that. Um, Listen, man, it's important that men understand that women are capable of such things. Now, why is that? Well, because a lot of the times, a lot of men are raised up to think that women are incapable of doing such things, right? Cheating is for men. Men are dogs. Men cheat. Nah, man, she's the dog. She cheats. She's catching way more bodies. And what I really want to capitalize on, man, are two things. Because we're going to take this situation and turn it into something constructive and positive to benefit ourselves. Number one, by avoiding such women. We got to know the science. You got to pay attention. If you are in a situation where a woman that you're dealing with is causing you to be confused consistently about either where she stands, what she's doing, what she's up to, right? If you're in that type of situation, just leave. Just leave. If you are confused about where you stand with the woman, just leave. She's operating out of order, right? She's in chaos. She's not being obedient to your agreement, the two of you. Because I'm assuming, man, she says gaslight him. Why does she say that? Well, because the guy is obviously complaining. 
Because by that time, let's be honest, you're not going to do all this stuff and have a man not think you're up to something, right? You're not going to do all that stuff and have a man really sitting there like, oh, babe, okay, another pottery class. Okay, yeah, you're not getting your back blown out. Every night you go out to pottery class. You're just at pottery class because all of a sudden you love pottery. Like, what the fuck? I'm saying, obviously, the guy starts complaining. When you notice these signs, don't think to yourself, oh, no, she couldn't. You know, she loves me. Nah, she could and she would. Plenty of women out here have cheated and they take that shit to the grave. Some of you men have been cheated on. You may never know whether that's bad or good. Hey, that's all left to personal individual opinion at that point. But number one, avoid manipulative, excessively secretive type of women. Avoid them. Number two, this um, makes me think of something my dad taught me a while back. He said to me, never love a woman too much. Now, on the surface, you hear that and you think, wow, that doesn't sound well. If you're, you know, blue pill beta, you sit there and think, oh, wow, that doesn't sound so nice, man. Never love a woman too much. What do you mean? I want to love her with all my heart. You're tripping. Never love a woman too much. Why? Because you see these type of videos, these type of women are the reasons why men have trust issues, problems, and end up doing crazy stuff, right? Why? Because they have been told a lie. They have been told that women are innocent. They will never hurt you. I'm not here to say women are all evil. No, 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 no. Just accept that a woman is as capable as you are of making mistakes. And that's a sobering reality for a lot of guys. Why? Because the perception we have of women is like, no, she wouldn't do that. She's not that nasty, right? She doesn't want to go to pound town. She's not even like that, bro. I just never saw it coming. This is what you hear guys say usually when they get cheated on, right? They're surprised. They're shocked, especially when they're not RP aware. Never love a woman too much basically just means don't ever put a woman as the center of your life. She should never be the focus of your life. Why is that? Well, you're leaving room for human error. But when you put her as the center, you're making her out to be the foundation of your life. And what happens when that woman cheats on you? What happens when she leaves? How do you handle that? When your whole life has been spent trying to please this woman, put her on a pedestal. Make sure she's feeling happy. Make sure you're cutting out what you want, right? Not prioritizing what brings you peace, happiness. But instead, she becomes your center. We see these guys all over, man. Their girls cheat. They lose their minds. Never make a woman the center of your life. Always be aware that she is capable and she is human. And when I say that, I'm not trying to excuse a mistake. I'm trying to sober you up right this is your daily dose of rp look at a woman you think oh you're so in love see when you have those color rose colored lenses on man and you're seeing life through those lenses right and you're in love you think the person you're with could never do you wrong and guys go through this they'll get into these relationships with these women then these women cheat then they're surprised and their whole world is falling apart but mentally they're falling apart too you just got to remember, female nature is real. Women are capable. You don't put everything into a woman, man. So what do you do? Well, you got to have other things. You got to have other passions. Because I'm looking at who's most likely to be most affected when they run across a woman like that. Who's ready to cheat. Well, the man who believes that she is incapable of wrong. And trust and believe a lot of guys out here think that way. And sometimes men just need a reminder, focus on you, focus on your purpose. The true battle, man, is within, right? Yourself, that beta within you, he wants to put the woman on a pedestal. But no, man, you've got to embrace that alpha mentality and battle that self within you. 
you got to go to war with those feelings of fantasy overall man that video was pure evil let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below men stay alert men stay rp aware men get rid of the negativity in your life and focus on the positive remember you know what we're about on this channel peace positivity self-awareness motivation my name is chisha zed until next time i'm out peace